Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. Here to talk about that time of the year. Halloween is coming up. We're dealing with witchcraft, the occult, the boogeyman. Woo, scary. Yeah, it seems exciting and intriguing. I know, I know. But listen, you have to remember, there's a dark side to it as well. And I'm not going to talk long on this, but I do want to warn you. Don't start playing and dabbling and stuff. You really don't understand as much as you think. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I am here to talk to you about some of the experiences some of my viewers and I have had. One time when uh, one of my viewers had played with the Ouija board as a child, and as she grew up, she had an experience as she was, you know, the years started passing where she was in front of her house and a demon slapped her so hard in her face. She started hearing sounds in her bedroom. It was nobody playing tricks or games on her. She had opened a door without realizing it. And now she was about to be haunted, followed, stalked, harassed by demonic activity. And it wasn't until she got saved that she was able to put it to a halt completely. Here's another one. I remember when I was at in junior college with my my co-students, we were all together in a room and we decided we wanted to play levitations and we wanted to play some other game where we quoted some stuff. And we would say things around the circle and we would lift the person and they was light as a feather. Oh, that was so intriguing. That was the fun part. But then we started going around calling the person dead. This was a trip. Every person had a different experience, and it was real. One man was on the ground, young man, was on the ground, and as we were saying, let's raise the spirit from the dead, he literally, he screamed. I mean, this man screamed at the top of his lungs. Now, it was a fun thing, but it got to the point it got a little too scary. And when he screamed, I'll tell you why in a minute, another one, when I was laying there and they said the same thing over me, I saw this little bright light and it started to come closer and closer. And I didn't know if that was a good thing or bad thing, so I opened my eyes and sat up. But this is when we stopped. When this man said he felt cold, it was instant. This thing happened in a split second and he had a total experience. He felt icy cold. He felt damp and wet. He said all of a sudden he couldn't move and this dirt was just being thrown on him. It was soil from the side of a hole he was in. And the dirt was being thrown repeatedly. And it, it took him a while in his mind to sit up and scream. But he laid back. We said what we said. Then he screamed. It was that fast. But the experience had to have happened in warp speed, but in his mind, it took a while. It scared the bejazzes out of him, and it scared the bejazzes out of us because we realized we were playing with something we had no real understanding of the depth of danger. So we all agreed immediately, no more. We're not playing that. So if you guys are playing levitations and you guys are playing with tarot cards and the Ouija board and all kind of stuff, stop it. Don't let this season get you all engulfed and intrigued with white magic, black magic, the occult, witchcraft, voodoo, whatever you want to call it. Please don't do that because you're playing with something deadly. It's all run by demons. When you see people talking about mediums, talking about, oh, I see your aunt, I see your mother, 
I see a child. Oh, they look so happy. Oh, and they said, and mother, please remember so and so and so. And you're hearing this so-called child tell you private things about your family and things you knew about your child and you didn't tell anybody else. Those are what you call familiar spirits. And familiar spirits, FYI, that means for your information, Familiar spirits are demons who were assigned to your child and who come back to deceive you. But your child doesn't have a nickel in that dime. There's nothing about your child in it. Don't fall for the okie doke. Don't fall for the scams. And don't you dare pay money. Leave all that alone. Don't call psychic hotlines. Don't do any of that, please. You need to consult with anything, anyone. Consult with God. God bless you. Remember that.